Here is a day in life of cheer practice featuring your Marysville cheer team. So every day we go to Washington Elementary and all walk into practice at 3.45 p.m. Then we all get the mats down and roll the tape out. Before we get started with warming up, we all meet in a circle and talk about what we are going to get done today. Then we do our 200 jumping jacks. After we all warm up and stretch, we get ready for jumps. Let's take a short break and get to know some of our cheerleaders and the coach. So, Coach Dodd, what would you like to achieve by the end of the season? By the end of the season, uh, I had hoped for us to be able to uh, up our skill level a bit, and we have already accomplished that. We will be, we've set some great building blocks for next year and for the years to come. And then by the end of the season, uh, for this Saturday, particularly at regionals, we hope to hit all of our personal best scores. If we hit a 750, which is our goal, then the placing will take care of itself. That sounds like a good goal. Now, how would you describe your coaching style? I would like to describe my coaching style as democratic. I have been coaching for 22 years now. This is my 15th at Marysville. And I feel like when you're a younger coach or teacher or boss that, and you're not quite comfortable yet in what you're doing, you tend to be a little more autocratic. And after all of this time, I'm pretty confident in what I'm doing. So it's much easier for me to open up my um, practices to questions and opinions from the team. And I think it gives the team members a little more ownership of the program as well. It's important to me that they know that their opinions are valued and that they have a voice. And when you take more ownership of something, then you also take care of it better. Thank you, Coach Dodd. Now on to our cheerleaders. Have you ever thought of cheering in college? Why or why not? I have thought about cheering in college. I actually plan to either go to Elma or CMU to further my cheer career there. That is something to look forward to. Thank you, Callie. Next, Abby, why did you start cheering? Um, I started cheering because my older sister did. So when I was younger, I always wanted to do everything she did. So growing up in the house, it was just kind of my environment all the time, and I decided to join. Thank you, Abby. What is your favorite skill? My favorite skill in cheer is a roundoff by Cansbring Back Talk. That is super cool, Dakota. Thanks. Now let's get back to cheer practice. Now we are all going to warm up all of our stunts. We are doing team tumbling. And now we do a few more stunts. Now it's time to get ready for round two. We will begin with stretching and warming up our skills. Now here is a short clip of round two. On to round one. On this cheer team, there is a lot of determination. Everyone is friendly with one another, and we all want to make sure we are being the best we can be. After we are done with practice, we roll the mats and tape back up. Then we will meet in our circle and talk about practice. Now at 6.15, we all grab our stuff and leave. Thank you for coming to cheer practice today. I hope you had fun. Need his name up in lights. He just wants to be heard. Whether it's the beat of the mic, he feels so unlike everybody else alone. In spite of the fact that some people...